Hey guys, it's me Nick again and today I will share some quick tips on how, how to make your motion design life a little bit easier or how to achieve a bit better results if you are looking for. So uh, first of all I would like to say that great project structure and clear workspace is for, for me it's it's crucial thing, it's really necessary uh, so I don't get lost in a bigger projects and uh, I made myself a preset so basically it's a Cinema 4D file named preset and uh, I always start with a six or yeah sorry five nulls that represent um, some parts of the scene so I have lights, camera yeah basically lights are lights, camera, environment environment is basically the surrounding of the of the animation uh, in this case those are just some plates and cubes and uh, this is the crucial part so we have production null and development null so this is uh, basically in production we have the final mesh in its most beautiful uh, state and uh, the thing is if I want to change something here and I don't have all the previous steps saved I just uh, I don't know how to how to get to the point where it all started. Maybe if your uh, Cinema 4D settings are set to save all the like steps back from the from the very beginning, you are you are good. But still, you will lose all your pro progress. Uh, so yeah, here in the development is basically th this scene is basically a bunch of clones of the cubes that are inflated so it started the decloner then I connected them and subdivided and subdivided a bit more and uh, yeah, after that I, I had uh, this basically this result and uh, if I want to change something I basically delete this only this part which was 10 minutes of work and uh, start over and I, and I have all my like steps saved here so uh, yeah th that's how I organize my, my work and my all, all of my uh, projects um, by the way if you don't want to do this preset um, but you still want to save a little bit of time in the octane settings you also um, can do a preset for example I use best racing kernel and that's my kind of a go-to uh, sample count, diffuse depth, and, and all that stuff. So here um, I just added a new preset. Mine, mine's named uh, Past Tracing Production. And you can add new preset or remove presets, and it will save you a little bit of time too. And uh, next quick tip is uh, about the lights and achieving uh, close to realistic results. So the most important thing. Uh, is shadows actually because uh, we are used to see shadows everywhere if you look around yourself right now you will you will see that shadows are everywhere and uh, if you are if you are using okay let's say you are you, you said your studio lights um, everything is great and you just rendered your most beautiful um, object you you shaded it correctly you lit it but something is just is, just, is isn't just right and uh, it's the lack of shadows probably so here in the in the lights i also use random and really really different objects to um, make more interesting shadows in my scene so we go back you will see that we have this this shadow here and uh, it's, it's basically a bookcase from the Cinema 4D presets um, but it instantly adds a little bit of realism because if you if you again if you look around yourself you will see those shadows and it, and if your eye looking on your render doesn't see enough shadows enough reflections of the surrounding world it instantly looks a little bit less realistic and uh, also 
here you may see that I'm using the Sun and the HDRI um, as my main light sources. But I've got a lot of questions about the um, about my previous works when I used more of a studio light setup. And uh, I'm happy to share them with you. So in the description of this video, you will find a link to the Dropbox folder and you will find, um, I think there was three um, separate Cinema 4D files where you can find uh, different presets uh, like there, there was an HDRI and some area lights that are producing this uh, studio light that might be helpful for some of you guys. And uh, yeah, that's, that's all from me. So thanks for watching and keep it up.